All right, uh, it's uh, Al again, and uh, I got a big old crate uh, that came in yesterday, and I just popped the top of it. And uh, these are some DuPont solar panels that I ordered. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube laid off two masks that a uh, real nice guy, he turned me on to uh, these panels. Uh, I've been looking at Sonic Electric uh, for a while and they had the Kaneka panels. But these just came in and uh, he saw them and he sent me a link to them. Uh, they're 100 watt panels, uh, but they're $100, $120 each. So I ordered 20 of them and the crate just came in and uh, yeah, I just unpacked it here a little bit ago and uh, there's all 20 panels right there so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, getting those things installed uh, gonna have to uh, probably wait a little while Get the mounting stuff that I haven't ordered yet. Uh, this has uh, MC3 connectors, as you can see, which is fine by me. I don't care uh, whether MC3 or MC4s. Uh, but that's uh, two kilowatts of power for $2,500, including shipping uh, from Florida to Texas. So not bad. Uh, anyways, uh, this uh, should work out pretty well because these are the thin film. Um, I'll show you here. They're called DuPont Apollo, and they are thin film uh, photovoltaic uh, modules, and uh, it's a, uh, they're painted on essentially, uh, so they're very thin, they're very easy to manufacture, that's why the cost is so low. Uh, these are non-UL listed, you can get them UL listed for $50 a panel more. Uh, I live out in the country, so uh, we don't need to you know uh, we don't get inspectors out of here so it doesn't really matter if they're you're listed or not as long as the inverter is UL 1741 listed that's all I care about uh, obviously these are gonna get mounted and they're gonna get grounded so there's not much wrong that can't go there's not much that can go wrong with the panel so uh, that's the uh, that's the story there so far I uh, can't wait to get uh, some racks ordered. I think actually what I'm going to do is uh, not order racks, but I'm going to get these 2x4, um, synthetic 2x4s that are called Trex out of Lowe's and mount it with that. Uh, a heck of a, lot, heck of a lot, of a lot cheaper than the unit rack uh, panel mounts. Uh, much less headaches. Uh, stuff that will last a lifetime. So uh, I think that's the way that I'm going to go. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, laid off to mass. Thanks for turning turning me on to these things. Can't wait to put them on. Get a decent grid tie inverter from uh, either Outback or uh, I'm not sure yet which one I'm gonna get. It may not be an Outback. I'm been thinking about maybe a, a Sony Boy from SMA, a Fronius. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I've been looking at. Uh, they may uh, just do the trick for me really well. So, anyways, thanks a bunch. Appreciate it. Take care.